see what's here. Good morning out there. Let's see if we can get this on our laptop. There we go. Swipe left to get the comments. Let's see who's going to be the first one to comment today. So, just a few minutes early. Let's see what's here. You can get there. Swipe. You'll get comments. There we go. I wonder who will be the first one today. Hopefully we're in the right, yeah, I think we're in the right place. Oh, there's Martina out in Oregon. Okay, great, Martina. I'm not, it's always good to have that first person. Hi, Katie Little. Are you not at work today or are you at work and just tuning in? Glad you can join in. Super, I'm always, it's so good to know that one or two people are, have found us. Now, please comment, send thumb. Hi, Carla, Carla's from Wisconsin. Send some thumbs up, some uh, hearts or whatever, because that helps other people find us. So just do that. If you would just keep commenting, how's the weather in Wisconsin, Carla? And how are you doing in uh, Oregon, Martina? Are you, um, did you decide you're gonna stay and keep your house? Or are you going to move to Belgrade? And Katie, how are you doing? Have you started having any classes again? Oh, there's Jan Kaufman. Jan's from Eastern Montana. Oh, good. Oh, no work today. Katie's working on her last exam of the semester. Oh, good for you. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad to see you girls today. Anyway, we'll begin. So. It is, it is, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the hearts. Is that Lisa or who is that sending those hearts? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Good to see you girls. Um, my hair is a little, I have, I'm getting a haircut this week and I sure need one. Um, it's funny looking, my hair has grown so much. Uh, today is April 27th, 2021. We are, I, Oh, hey, Carolyn. Carolyn's down in Georgia. I bet it's getting warm there, uh, Carolyn. Glad to see you. Um, it's been a whole year. And oh my goodness, what a difference a year makes, huh? It, it, we feel better, I think. I think we're not so desperate as we were feeling last year at this time. I feel better doing Facebook Lives. I love them. I just love them a lot. Um, today in our Tuesday announcements, there were a few things, not a terrible amount. I think there'll be more as we come up to next week. One week from today is when our new annual catalog goes live. So girls, I would I would encourage you, please pre-order. That's one of the huge benefits of being a demonstrator. You get to order first. And there are things that are running out already. Shipping will be a big issue. We know this. Um, Oh, sorry, it's gloomy there, Carla and Rainy. I'll tell you what, here in Montana, it is so bright and sunny. I have to keep my window shades blinds completely darkened because it was really reflecting. I have a lot of wonderful natural light in this, in my studio. And uh, I, but it's, I have to darken the blinds because it really interferes with the video. Um, anyway, I would, I would highly recommend if you can afford to do it, order some things ahead of time. And then tell your those of you who have customers or friends, family. Um, oh, good, Martine. I'm glad you're going to enjoy your staying where you are. Um, but we'll miss you coming to Montana, too. Um, anyway, sorry about all those. I keep jumping off, getting off track here. We know shipping is slow. Some of the products are really being delayed. So things like the blends are ready on back order. So... Uh, they're not turned off, but they are on back order, so you can get your name on the list for those, and they're wonderful. I've been using. I'm glad I have two sets because I'm using using the, the blends a lot. Um, so we know shipping is going to be slow, and so I would order. I would encourage you next week to order as soon as possible on May fourth, because 
then because it, it'll take a while to get to your place and then things will start going on back order very very fast encourage your customers to it doesn't hurt to take pre-orders from them but you can enter everything on may 4th um, a couple things about our, our personal team. We're going to have a, a team Zoom meeting on Wednesday, May 12th. It's at 6 o'clock in the evening uh, mountain time. So you can, Martina and Melissa, you're out in the, on the Pacific, so you're at 5, and Carolyn, you're at 8 o'clock at night. So, And then we're going to have a team swap with the new catalog, too. And that is going to be due May 27th. That's a whole month from today. And... You can use the things that you pre-order. You can get brand new things that you get right away in May. But um, it'll be a, a card swap where you make one card. And then you will, if there are 10 people in our, our group swapping, that you'll make 10 identical cards. I'll tell you what, the swaps get better and better every time. We've been averaging between 8 to 12 people. So um, it's a wonderful opportunity to, for you to use your new products and you can copy or get something from Pinterest or Demonstrator Planning Place, any place, any images online, or you can come up with something yourself, either way. Um, anyway, that's about it. Let's just keep commenting. Other people will probably join in a few minutes late. Uh, we have a couple things today. And Oh, before I turn, you, turn down, I want to show you something. Um, there is a die that's in our pre-order. And I just, I don't know if you can see these real well, but I just, they cut borders. And this one is like a cloud. And this one is, it's very pretty. It has a stitched edge and scalloped. I've not made anything with these. This is a, um, just a sort of a curved front. This one looks like a pocket or like this, or it could be a clutch purse. They're really, they're really nice. Um, and then there's a, there's a, there's some edging like zigzag. And uh, I really, they're really cool. And the other thing that I think that uh, you might not have thought about at all, or maybe haven't ordered, are these little tags. Oh, I love these. The tags are fabulous. Here's one with the tag. Um, they have different sizes and they have different tops. They're really nice. Um, this is the big one. This is like a second to the smallest, but I really like those a lot. Um, so take a look at those. These little uh, party puffins are sort of, I, I did, they were the last thing I've gotten, but they, I made a whole set of in color cards with these. I don't have them all finished. I don't have them all colored yet. <coughs> um, but I think we'll turn down. I put my water right there. Okay, so close your eyes for a second, and here we go. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, these two, th these are little projects. Um, this is the, this is, I'm going to be using the, the Friendship um, stamp set today, and, and this is the punch that comes with it, with the two flowers and the leaves. And this is the flower it makes. And this is one of the cards that's going to be in my um, stamp camp this week. There are some fun folds. This is part of the birthday set. Opens like this. And uh, there's that flower right there. And um, I I would really encourage you. I really, the, the uh, stamp camp is really, I have everything designed. I'm just um, getting everything typed. But... Uh, the first part is all dragonfly with lasers. And it's pretty cool. There are six cards. And then I have a birthday. Second part is birthday. And uh, six more projects. These. This is one of them. Watch this now. This is a little post-it note. These are little post-it no notes that I ordered from Amazon. They're white. And then you just open it up. You're going to make one of those. Aren't those cute? They're really fun and they're not hard. But that's part of the birthday set. And... Uh, so I thought I would just show you those. I this is that black and white paper that's in our catalog. And uh, we will be keeping, you know, remember that mini catalog stays until June. And then in until June 30th, at the very beginning of June, some of the things will go on, on uh, sale. 
they'll tell it there. We already know which things are staying and which are, are leaving. I'm going to set that right over there and get our card in for today. The first thing that we're going to be using is this stamp set called Flowers of Friendship. And uh, I'll tell you what, I love it. Actually, I'll show you a bunch of things that I've made with it before we get to our card. These are all full-size cards in all of our colors. This is papaya. This is the lipstick and uh, not lipstick. Lipstick, what is it? Uh, it's the polish. It's the pink. Um, polish pink? I'm not sure now. Anyway, that's my shirt for today. And it's not exact, but it's as close as I get. This is the Freesia. It's very pretty. Love this color. Love it with the green. Um, this is the Soft Succulent. And this is the Evening Evergreen. You can see those. They're really... And the paper behind it is all part of that uh, pansy. There you can see the pansies. These are all... It's all part of the, the pansy package of cards um, are all in the new brand new in colors. Then I made some little I've been I've been going like crazy actually. I've just been these are all little tiny little you know three by three cards. And they're just as fun as can be. This is all of that set. Flowers of friendship. I love this image. And then there's these I've not done. I've punched out some flowers from the uh, with the punch, but I've not stamped them and then punched them. That just seemed like too much work to me, so I haven't done that. Um, I just punched the flowers and they, they're just fine. It has some nice fonts too. So it's a uh, red rubber and we're gonna be stamping with that today. So here we go and we're going to be making an easel card. And an easel card is, uh, like this. I've got a little table here. This is my easel card. Let's see what's if I can. Do you see this? It's and I have uh, popped up this little labels, this story label punch or whatever it's called. I'm not sure. I have to look at the name. But um, it folds flat, completely flat. They're really easy to make. They've been around forever. So um, this is what it looks like. We're going to use that to stamp. So, um, and I saw this idea of Mary Nab or someone. I'm not sure where she lives or who she is, but I saw a really pretty card similar to this. And I didn't know the directions or anything, but I just sort of made it up. I've made enough cards to sort of be able to do that. Um, so this is what we need. So get your phone ready and I will, you can take a screenshot. Let me see once if I get this a little straighter. There we go. Pull it down. No. Pull it up. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is a four and a quarter by 11. Just a top folding card, and I scored it at five and a half and two and three fourths, two and three fourths. And so it, that's the same measurement you would do for a Z. So a, a Z fold would be like this, and an easel goes this way, just the opposite. So I'll bring in my bone folder and give that a good crease because you want it to be able to stand up on its own. And so it'll be standing like this. And then there's going to be a check piece that's going to go on the front, two and a half by four. And there's going to be a uh, soft succulent mat, three and a half by five. That's the part that's going to stand up like this. And then the inside is just a normal three and three fourths by five. And now I'm going to pull these off to the side for a second. We're going to do all of our stamping first because we have to do some coloring and I wanted to make sure it's nice and dry. Um, our mats are a little bit crazy. I used the, uh, the stitched the large rectangle. I'm so thankful they, they're keeping those. And I did two different sizes, three and one eighth by four and a half. It's very, very tight like that. And it's a real skinny border. Um, the other one would be more of a quarter of an inch, and that would be three and a fourth by four and five eighths, and that 
It's like that. Which do you like better? Do you like that skinny? Or do you like the little bit wider? What do you think? Let's give us, make a comment on that. Comment on that if you would, please, girls. And then while we're, while you're commenting, I'm going to do the stamping. So let's see what's here. Uh, we'll get our, get our black memento ready and our, 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 whoops, our blocks. And I want to remember to put something on the back. And here we go. Let's see once. It's a big, big stamp. So we want to, uh, we want to do it upside down. Anytime you have a big stamp, it's better to, to stamp upside down. Get better coverage that way. And then, it fills up this whole rectangle. There we go. And uh, we're going to set that aside. We'll put get our little inside piece. Um, this is a, uh, we're going to use, we're going to use a little border along the bottom. Like that. And I think that's all we have for the black. And then we have um, I think what we'll do, we'll just put this on the inside right away. Oh dear, I hope I have a band-aid close to me because I might, I, my skin is cracking. It's so dry here. Um, sometimes I'll get, I'll get blood on my cards because my skin is cracking open. I didn't have that problem in Florida. I had other problems, but with the humidity. But here I, it is so dry in Montana. There we go. And there's our inside. We'll color that, and now we'll do our mat. And our mat is going to go on first. Well, first we're going to do our our little check piece, two and a half by four. And I'm get my 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 regular seal here. These leaves are fabulous for cutting out this. I'll tell you what, this on um, this uh, pansy set, so I love the ginghams. There are three colors or four colors in the gingham. Okay, and so now we need to do one more stamping thing. Um, what do you think? Do you think I should stamp the thank? This one I did in green, the green paper, the suc succulent paper, but I thought I would try. We'll do one of each just so that you can see that. Um, See what, and then I'll let you choose. We're going to do this in the uh, the soft succulent ink. They're still a little tight. Uh, let's see. Let's we'll do. We'll try it like this. We'll do. Thank you for everything. And we'll do it on here. This one. Whenever you do it on the on a regular cardstock, you need to let it sit there and let it soak in because it's not doesn't have that quite that same finish as. Uh, you know, I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to do it again because I got I got a line on there. I pushed too hard. So there we go. That's better. Close that up and we'll punch them up. And then you're going to have to make another decision. Um, so we're going to get this punch. This punch is the uh, Label Me Fancy. And it's got, I think that Story Builder one was similar or something. And it's retiring. This one has that you can punch up like for the ribbon or something too, if you want. Um, so you're gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna have to cut this a little closer. There we go. It's really a nice punch. Not too big, not too small. And uh, we'll do the same thing on this one, the white. I sort of like this. What do you think? Do you think you're going to like the white on white or the the green, the soft succulent on the green. So you're going to have to tell me that in just a second. So you tell me what you think. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to add some adhesive to this, and I'm just going to put it along the bottom. I've got my little mat here. You know me, I, I like to have my silicone mat. And it's why it's also good to get your adhesive started again, too, if it stops. You can use your finger or that. Okay, 
And now I'm going to just make sure it's going to be able to close. It's going to be like this. And now we'll, I'm going to, before I go too much further, I am going to stamp on the back the Stamping Up little logo. And you can sign it with your name or whatever, your initials, whatever you like to do. But um, I really like this logo. Uh, that's the angel policy stamping up, the copyright stamping up. Really pretty. Um, I'm trying to keep this out on my table so I remember to use it. Um, I'm not real good about it. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, I'm trying really hard. So now, what do you think you're going to like it like this or like that? Which one? I'm going to look at, see if I can see comments. The comments sort of disappeared. Let's see once. Okay. I love, okay. Lisa says green. Green. Anyone else have a comment on that? And I wonder, what did you say for, what did you all say for the uh, thin or thick? Which one did you like, the thin or the th thicker one? I don't know. We'll try colored. Okay, we'll use the colored one for sure. Colored rather than the green, than the white. So we'll we'll pop that up. I'm going to use a little. I love these. I love these sheets. Oh my goodness! I love cutting my own shapes. I just cut a whole dish of them. I keep them. I actually keep them right here in my with my glue, it's it's just an empty case. And uh, with my, anyway, I, I really like those. It, it just saves peeling off other, other ones. So now I'm going to just set this right here. And this is going to help that card stand up like that. See how it does that? And then it's gonna flop, sit down. Now I am going to, I don't know, I can't uh, see any comments about thin. I think we'll use the uh, bigger one this time, maybe, because I think on my other one I used the thin. We'll just try that um, and see. Then it will give you a comparison. This is the thicker one, three and a fourth by four and five eighths. You know, I sent up, I sent up someone. I don't know who it was. Did a really nice. Maybe it was Frenchy, Frenchy who lives in Texas. She's French Canadian, and um, she did a really good video on rulers and measurements. It's really, I always think like three eighths, five eighths isn't so hard, but um, three eighths, three sixteen, some of those are a little tricky. Okay, um, we're going to, so what I want to ask you now, what do you think? Uh, this is going to go on here. We'll just put that on. Do you think I should use the polished pink like I did on my other card, or should I try the purpley one called Fresh Freesia? What do you think? I think I have, let me get this on nice and straight. I think my mat size is just slightly off on this one though, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. Um, it won't be, I think this one probably was a better one size wise. Okay, so let me bring in the markers. Um, and so this one I did pink, the polished pink. And I can do that again for you, or we can do the freesia. I think, I don't know. Let's see if you're, anyone made a comment. Okay. I don't know. I'll tell you what. You comment if you want me to do freesia or pink. And while, I'm do, while you're commenting, oh, I got some glue dot right there. Um, while you're commenting, I will get my lens out and we'll do the leaves. Let me put my reading glasses on for a minute so I can see this close by. And uh, there we go. I'm going to give put a little bit of the dark in the leaves, just on the veins, sort of. Love the simplicity of this. And these, if they're easy, easy to color. This is the soft succulent. And I just go over it to make it to blend it a little bit. This is definitely an outline coloring one. There is not a 
uh, two or three parts set stamp. We have a lot of two and three uh, stamps. So how are you how are you doing? Are you commenting about what you want, the freesia or the or the pink? Let's see what your comments say if I can read these. Okay. I like pink. I like pink. I like pink. I think we have pink. Alrighty, we'll do pink. And we'll get the two pinks are uh, dark polished pink and light polished pink. And I'm going to put in the dark first. You can do, you know, you can do your own preference. I like to put a lot of pink, the dark, right along. The Stamping Up has given us the help of these hash, these lines. And, excuse me, wherever the lines are, that is where, that's where they're shading. If you want to have it darker. And then we can just go back over it. I just make little circles. Our card is almost. Leave a little bit of white if you want. But it's a really fun set. If you don't have it, I would highly recommend it. It's a bundle. It's 10%. Um, and remember, you know, the bundles that are in our current catalog, a lot of those stamps are continuing in, in dies and punches but they won't be bundled. So if, there we go. And if you don't have something and you want something, you should get it now while it's still bundled, while you can still get it bundled. Okay, let's get some uh, bows. Got a little, whoops, dropped it there. A little bow. Um, Looks like a little smash bow, actually, is what it looks like. Maybe I'll tie a new one. That one looks sort of ragged. Take some. This is the soft succulent ribbon. It is wonderful. Um, there we go. There's our bow, and I, and I can just hold the knot and make it smaller. And small. Hold the knot, make it smaller. There we go. That's a better. And I, I pulled it tighter. I can still adjust it like that. And we can give it a little bit of a trim, a little haircut. I like to have my bows. <laughs> There's pointing down. There's enough ribbon here now to save that for um, something else. You can always do a bow that doesn't have to be, can be tied with twine. Um, okay, now we'll get, get our glue dot. And I, I quite, I, 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 I don't skimp on glue dots. I'm going to put it, oh, let's put it down right right there. I like to put two glue dots on and to keep it in place. There we go. And now we have to color this at the bottom. And I think I'll just do that real fast in the, see if you've got a little smear going on. I'll tell you what the, uh, I've got to get these rhinestone jewels out because they are fabulous. If you have not ordered these, oh my goodness, you need to. Uh, they are they are unbelievable. We could only you can only get one, and they have all of the new in colors. I, I would predict that they're going to sell out immediately. Um, they only let us have one. I wish we could. Mine I've used a lot, and I'm I'm in, and I'm being very. Uh, selective on what I use those for too because we only have one package. Okay, that's really quickly done, but gives you an idea. Um, and now we need to add some. And let's see. Once I'm going to, what do you think? Let's see. Let's do, let's put some of the soft succulent one ones on my. I I just wound that up a little bit, and that putty is coming out like crazy. Um, it's just popping out of there. You could use. Sometimes when you get a refill, you think, well, oh, gee, it's not coming out at all. But it'll just ooze out a little bit at a time. Um, there we go. Our card is finished. Those little gems are called, uh, called uh, 2021 to 2023 in color jewels. And that's that one. And this one I did with the uh, 
the evening evergreen, and this one with the soft succulent. So those are our cards. And I'll just show you what it would look like with this is soft succulent. This is one of the tags, but that's the freesia. And I think that's really a pretty combination too. But I love this, this pink. What's it called? Um, polished pink. It's not hard. Polished pink. Very easy to um, remember that with fingernail polish. So that is the flowers of friendship. And if you don't have this one, oh my goodness, I think it's a, I think it's a great one. I love this. Life is better with friends like you. Really. Little card, big thanks. I use that on those little ones. On the, you know, sometimes little card, big thanks. For, just put in with a little gift or something. Okay, let's move these out of our workspace. Oh, there's the wider. This is the wider. I, there, I think I like the narrower one better than the uh, than the wider. But you can have your you can do whatever you want. Those little skinny borders are a little trickier to cut because they they usually involve eighths. So okay, let's see. Let's move our things over, and we're going to get our pansy stamp and punch out. This is a neat set. I love the paper. I've used it a lot. <laughs> I have used that paper a ton. Um, I'm glad we could have two packages of it. Let's see. Let's, how do I get that? So you're not seeing so much of my base. I think it's falling. That's how. Why am I tighten this up up here? There we go. Maybe it won't fall so much. Um, it's got a lot of pieces. And it's one, two, three, four steps for the big pansy. One, two, three for the little. And then it's got these little uh, um, buds too. But beautiful font. I like the, uh, I like all the, the, the sayings. <sighs> nice thank you. Nice birthday. And we are going to make a card using this. We're going to do one, two, three, four steps. The leaves have one, two, one, two. They're two different stems, uh, types of leaves. So we're going to do those today. And uh, we'll bring our pad in because these are photopolymer. And bring our pieces in. I made the card. Um, and this uses some of the daisies that we, not daisies, the doilies, the doilies that we've, that I gave you. Um, so this is magenta. So this is our, one of our current in colors that's staying. And, uh, but this we're going to, today we're going to make a card that is going to be, we're going to use, look at this. I don't want to show you um, all my pieces, but go. This we're going to use the polished pink instead. Look at this. Look at the difference in that. One is so vibrant, and this is. I just love this color. It's beautiful. I think. Um, so we will work on that. So our base is going to be a five and a half by eight and a half. Just a half folding card like that. And let's see what's here. And next we're going to have our black. And this black is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. It's going to be a skinny one. So we'll, we'll attach that. Just like that. We're leaving sort of a, a large polished pink. And then we're going to have a skinny black. And then we're going to have a white. The white is going to be just our normal three, three and three fourths by five. And like this. The itch looks a little ragged. Sometimes I.
I like that skinny edge though. And now we're going to come to our, we're going to put our, our doily on. And I always, when I do doilies, this is what I do. I just put them on, put adhesive on, and it's all going to get covered up anyway. So that's that. And now we have a piece that we're going to stamp on. And this is going to be, it's just going to go over here. It's going to have a little height. And this is what we're going to work on. It's two by four and a half. And we're going to stamp our sentiment first in black. Let me see if I can find that sentiment. And here we go. Oh, we're going to do, um, let's see once. Maybe I don't have it on the block. Let me see my... Maybe we'll just, I have happy birthday on the block, so we'll just do that. Uh, we'll just do happy birthday right over here on the side. And we can always do the inside later. Since it's going to really take the show. The, the uh, important will be the pansy part of this whole thing, because it's a little trickier. And, uh, and now we're going to do stamp our greens. We're going to use some granny apple green and some of that succulent green that we used before. I'm going to use these two colors. Um, well, honestly, I'm not sure if I used a. Uh, yeah, maybe I think that'll work just fine. And we'll bring our our stamps in here and so I'm going to do two different leaves there's one right there and it's sort of a uh, what are they called what are the leaves and you know, what's it called when we have a shading in our stamps that um, Stamping Up gave us they did the shading for us and now the little darker shading outline in there that. Now, you don't have to even buy the stamp set. You could just use the paper and die cut the paper. You could buy the dies. And, uh, but I sort of, it's sort of a fun process too. To make, um, and now we're going to stamp our, um, our pansies. I'm going to set that aside for now and we'll stamp our pansies. And we have let me get my white paper though. I'm going to need that. I'll get some white paper. And we're going to stamp the lightest one first. I'm using uh, Blushing Bride. And some Blushing Bride. And I'm going to, it's so interesting because Levon uh, Swindeman was, she has lots of uh, pansy cards. We'll just. That's the first one. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this wrong this time. I don't know. Let's see what's that's that's blushing bride. We'll see. And then the polished pink is the next one, the darker one. Anyway, um, pansies have little faces on them. And we're gonna do this. That's right. That's good. Anyway, someone said something about she didn't like pansies upside down when the face was upside down. Um, so now we're going to do the third one. Again, I'm going to go back to the Blushing Bride. And it's going to put a little pink in there. Just like that. And then we're almost done. Uh, there's actually, it could be five things because there is a center, but we're going to use a gem instead. Um, anyway, this person was really upset because she was seeing people use the pansies upside down. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. And I went back to look at my card. And I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's okay. It, the eyes are on top of the mouth. It's like that. But she was, someone was complaining about people that put pansies upside down. Well, I didn't even know there was a right way or a wrong way. But I was just glad that I did it, did, uh, that I learned that before I started making mistakes. So now we're going to put in sort of, this is like the eyes. Doesn't that just come to life like that real quickly? 
and then there's the die to cut out, uh, uh, to cut that out, cut the leaves out too if you want. And uh, I think I, let's see, oh, I did cut them out. Yes, through the magic of videos, we can just get these things all cut out like that. And I didn't have to bring my machine in my cut, my, my um, cut and emboss machine. Yes, that's what it is. So now we can just, uh, we don't need the leaves, so I guess I didn't need to cut those up because I stamped them right on there, but we'll just put them like that. And now we can um, take our pansy and put some, I'll just put one of these on, put one of these like that. Move that in. And now we're going to put it on so that it's just sort of tipped like this. Isn't that pretty? And our card is almost finished. Look at this. Now we're gonna put, we're gonna pop it up on top of that doily, that lace doily. And um, I'll just put, put a couple of these on. This, these definitely will not get crushed in the mail uh, when you do it this way. Oh, I have to make sure so that's overkill for sure. That's more than we need. But it's easier just to pull those off than to pick those smaller ones. Okay, and now we're going to line this up so we have it all straight on my grid paper. Isn't that pretty? And now we can add a... Uh, a center. Now there's also a little stamp that can stamp that center, but boy, I thought, oh, that is tiny, tiny, tiny. And then we need a little bit of, I love this uh, black and white. This is part of that dog suite that we have, you know, the pets. And I have already pulled my, my pet one and put it in my BOGO for next month. And uh, it's not retiring. It is not going to be a bundle anymore, but it's not retiring. So we're going to have cats and dogs. So if you have that and you like that paper, boy, I sure would it, it advise you to get it because it's, it's the dies cut out some of the dogs and cats. And there we have it. Happy birthday. And then we can put the other stamp on the inside. Wishing you happiness. These are our new, uh, um, let me see what's wishing you. This is it. Now, they, I'm not sure I like this very much, uh, very well. But it's okay, but it's hard to see. So um, what I'll do is take off this birthday one that we used and uh, put it, because I don't like to do double, but we'll do it this way. Okay, now we will stamp <clears throat> the inside. We're going to stamp on some white. I cannot, one thing that has always bothered me is I don't like stamping on the colored cardstock like that. Um, I always like a white piece in between. It's better for writing. And we will put that down here in a minute. Wishing you happiness. And I actually was going to put another um, pansy on like that. You can do that. Or you could, you could stamp it since it's right there. I will just put a little bit of adhesive on the top. And our card is finished. There we go. So, oh, I did, on this one I did just the opposite. So you can see that. Oh, I want to put this on the back. So one is magenta and one is the polished pink. Which one do you like better, the polished pink or magenta? And I think since we'll just do, uh, do it in black right here like that. And there we go. There's a lot of stamps in this one, but not too bad. Um, there we go. I will take a picture of these and post those this afternoon sometime. So this is the magenta. This is the polished pink. And this one I used um, melon, mambo, and magenta to get those colors. I just guessed. But anyway, 
So that, that's, that's that. I'm gonna turn the camera back. And there we go. <coughs> I like the polish paint too, Carolyn. Glad you could join us today. So anyway, girls, we've got, we, it's, we're right at 45 minutes, which is great. And uh, I will see you back here next Tuesday, same time. And we'll, it will be the day of the new catalog launch. So good luck getting your pre-orders in and good luck ordering next week on May 4th. That'll be a busy day. Be sure if you have questions, any kind of questions to ask Stamping Up, ask them now, ask them before May 4th, because once May 4th comes, you still can call, but you'll have you'll be on waiting for 30 minutes or have to call back. So don't ever hesitate. Some of you who are new, the Stamping Up Helpline is it's there for you. They hire people, and that's all they do is answer questions. I, I answered, I called yesterday. I had a, a lady's order that was shipped on uh, April 15th, and it was delivered, but she never got it. It's delivered someplace. And uh, apparently it's stuck at a post office and post office is just holding it. And uh, anyway, so we called and, and they have a, uh, they have people that work on things like this for us to help us with some of that tracking. Anyway, don't, don't hesitate to call them because they are there for that reason. So anyway, girls, stay, have a good week, stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Sign up for the swap. So send me a notice under the either on Facebook or on the on the email that I sent that you want to join. Okay, bye bye.